Hey, what's going on, YouTube? YouTube. Before I get into the video, I just want to say one massive thank you to everybody that helped out on the last video. I cannot believe it. My best ever done YouTube video. So thank you guys, and I hope it's helped out. This is another one I just want to go over real quick. This is a big, big, big game changer. Again, for myself, that's had to use DS4 for the last little bit. I've loved every second of it. One thing that's made a big, big, big time save in my life is that I don't have to reopen the app every single time I go into Call of Duty or whatever game or app you decide to use it on. And what I'm trying to say, so we got DS4 open, okay? For everybody that's saying it's like, again, my controller's not connecting to this or not, again, the thing that you guys aren't realizing is, if you look down here, it's saying using shared mode. So it's already being connected with your controller. Again, I know it says no controller's connected, but it's using shared mode, so it's already being used. So we're gonna go to auto profiles. And then, so we're already here. Call of Duty, okay? So it's gonna add programs. It's gonna come down to add Steam games, add start menu programs, add directory, browse for other programs. So you guys can choose. Again, I have where it was like, I have hide unchecked, it says it right here. So I have a bunch of them that aren't showing right now in my other programs, like, I don't know, Chrome, whatever you wanna say. Um, and so you can choose, say if I wanted to use this for Fortnite, say if I wanted to use this for any other compatible thing that DS4 might work with. Go ahead and add that so then we have that <clears throat> added call of duty now so so we're gonna go and click on it so now it's selected guys if you can see that um so the next thing you want to do is add your profile to whatever controller so my controller would be number one the one that i use all the time i don't have multiple controllers i use i don't know unless you're doing a dual gaming experience like a split screen i don't know why you'd want ds4 for a split screen but hey if you do you got up to eight different controllers you can use, okay? So the first one I have set is for my new profile. So when I go into my profiles, I have my default one, uh, my new 2024, and then the one that I'm enjoying, which is new. And then I'm going to go to auto profiles, new. And just for fun, we'll switch it up and we'll go new 2024. And we'll hit save. And then back to profiles, new 2024. Here's what this looks like for me you guys can copy the settings if you want to i'm really enjoying it but say i want to go back out auto profiles and i want to change it let's go back to one i've been using with save and right there there you go i'm just trying to make sure yeah at this point that it's been working hey guys i know there's going to be some people in the comments that are like it doesn't work i know it's for a fact it doesn't work Guys, I know for a fact <laughs> there's times that I have it where my stuff's off and I can tell in my head that my stuff's off because I'll be in the firing range and I can't even put in words. It's like using this is like having sticky aim or something like that. Again, I'm not trying to put too much credit to it, but like I can tell when it's off. I understand that there's people who be like, oh, it's a placebo effect or this or that. No, guys, this definitely does work. I hope it can help and stuff like that. And with your question if there's any more updates any more news about ds4s i will let you guys know all in the know take care